Uh, my bar just filled up, so... Following contest is the first of our two main events of the evening. This match is for the EIF Undisputed World Championship. Introducing first, he is the challenger. From Columbus, Ohio, Aaron Bankton. It has been nearly two years since this superstar has became undisputed world champion. It was a reign that lasted a brief 21 days. Now Aaron has that opportunity again, and for the first time in a very long time, Aaron has a one-on-one -on -one chance. Aaron believes that if there's anybody on this brand that can beat Hyper Maniac, it is him. And we will be finding that answer out in a matter of moments. And now introducing his opponent from California in the United States of America, the undisputed reigning and defending world champion, Hybrid Yeah. Well, when you've been a champion for three plus months, why not? Why not do it? Hybrid Maniac with Trump America running wild. Many of you hate him, and many of you will not be able to access Twitch when you leave the country. He is your president, and Hybrid is your world champion. That reminds me a little bit of a, some Apollo Creed when you look at the Rocky movie. When you think of that first Rocky film. But Hybrid's ready to go, and you know what? He's been world champion for three plus months. He's got a little bit of bravado. Remember, same length of time that NBC has held the championships. Both world champions tonight walking in with 109 day undisputed world championship reigns, the first of which will be on the line now. I think it's good. And remember guys, just keep keep up to date with us and make sure that you're listening to know that you know the match is what you're seeing on screen. I just slid into the ring. I'm posing. Yeah, I know. Well, like I said, just just hang tight. Also, um, because this is a world title match, not that I doubt the integrity of either of you guys and like the honesty, but you have to supply me a recording. If you split and you do not have a video recording for me on the xbox thing i will disqualify you and the title changes hands in that case so i just want honesty here same thing goes for round nbc so well if it is you lose your championship all right aaron are you ready Hybrid, are you ready good luck guys winner walks into christmas club by the way ding 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 and we are underway. The winner, as I just said very quickly, walks into Christmas Blood 2016, the final pay-per-view and the final event for EIF in this calendar year at the Elimination Chamber. But the champion will have the opportunity to secure the sixth spot, the last spot in the chamber. So they'll have up to three minutes fresh on the guys that are starting out the match. And Aaron and Hybrid, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, uh, former members of a stable together. Hybrid in many ways can be given credit for getting Aaron's career off to the start that it had after he laid dormant for basically over a year in EIF. It really wasn't doing a whole lot. Hybrid helped Aaron achieve some success. Aaron has since became a former undisputed superstardom and undisputed world champion, but we mentioned an undisputed superstardom title reign he had earlier this year in the beginning of the summer. The undisputed world title reign, his last defense, his only defense, which he lost, was at Fear is Reality 2015, I believe January 31st. as the last time Aaron has held the top title here on ED. So nearly two whole years have passed since then. 
And Aaron, what you know, he's been talking about, there's been rumors going around that Aaron is in the swan song of his career. He would love nothing more than to knock Hybrid off his high horse. Keep in mind how dominant Hybrid has been in one-on-one -on -one action. And he's looking to keep it up against Aaron, who's been in the ring with Hybrid a couple times during Hybrid's reign. And Aaron getting smashed off the turnbuckle. Man. Uh, Hybrid not trying to do Aaron any favors, though. He drops the elbow on the back of the head. Championship defense is one for one tonight. You can't really count the IC in which Ebams won because there was no champion to defend. And we mentioned, so the winner of this, they get a free extra 17 days added to their reign. They will walk in to Christmas Blood defending that championship. Aaron now being drug away from the ropes. Nice corkscrew connecting for Ivermaniac. He already has a finisher, guys. Aaron, oh wait a minute, hybrid to the apron and beyond. And no, he misses. Don't you love how I did that? The Buzz Lightyear style. Aaron with the comeback, and he's hoping that he'll be able to get a comeback going here. We mentioned that the winner of this will guarantee the sixth spot in the Elimination Chamber. Also breaking news for the Extreme Distortion Elimination Chamber. Greedy has been confirmed as the fifth spot. So Greedy will have the last challenger spot for that Elimination Chamber after knocking off Tripod earlier this evening, just moments ago. He will have that opportunity. We also know on Superstardom, the only guaranteed lock spot is uh, Nexus at number five. Hybrid now picking up Aaron. Brought to his feet, and Aaron dropped right back down. Hybrid going to work. The arm of Aaron. Hit, and the lag effective. Just when you want the show to end on time, it's not gonna happen, folks. We're gonna have to probably remake this match. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Aaron trying to get to his feet, and Hyber with the right hand. Still can't help but laugh a little bit at the attire of Hybrid's choice tonight. Aaron trying to run away from Hybrid. You can run, but you cannot hide. Hybrid just. <laughs> Aaron had the choice to leave the ring right there. We saw DZ do that a lot against Evans, but Aaron taking his fears head on. And I'll tell you what, guys. Don't underestimate Aaron. Don't think this guy's a nobody as he gets hit with a finisher. This guy has beaten some of the best in EIF. It's just how good the ceiling has been set from Hybrid. Aaron, one finisher out. And he's about to gain that reversal back, so Hybrid not able to get a freebie off of Aaron like he did on that first one. But a 1-0 finisher count in favor of the champion. But you have to wonder if Hybrid's championship reign will be put to the test. First off, can Aaron end it? If not, Hybrid will have to enter an unforgiving elimination chamber in that match. He'll have a number of opponents to worry about there. Aaron backed up and, oh, Hybrid. A running hip attack. Aaron out of reversals again. Four to the face, two nothing finisher count. And the world champion looking to retain. One, two, and Hybrid nearly vanquishing Aaron right there. Aaron able to keep his footing though. And Aaron with a reversal. Goes for the finisher. It's a bold move. And Hybrid's gonna return it tenfold. He reverses the finisher and then dishes one out. Two, and good night, Aaron. Hybrid walks into Christmas blood, the undisputed world champion. Another 17 days can be added to the reign. But next time, Hybrid will not have one challenger to deal with. He will have four as he will walk in to defend that championship in the Elimination Chamber. Aaron, obviously, for the faint of heart. And he's going to be given an opportunity as well, though. We have completed the Extreme Distortions Elimination Chamber side. And it's going to go as follows. It will be starting out that match. Tripod and Aaron. Who will start out the Elimination Chamber. Followed by that, 
it will be Pepsi Killer. Then Greedy. And last, the champion, Hybrid Maniac. That is the order of which we will see the competitors enter the Extreme Distortion Elimination Chamber match. Ratlock, do we need to go off air for... Cool. All right, so, guys, five matches down, one to go. And there's an Elimination Chamber confirmed on ED. We know that we'll have one at Superstardom, but the question is... Who will be the champion? And while Hybrid Maniac has held his championship for just as many days, he does not have the longest reign on ED. That right belongs to Brutality. On Superstar, it belonged to Hostile. Until this man, NBC Master, who just a year and a half into his career has made history as the longest reigning undisputed superstardom champion in the history of this brand. He has a longer reign than names such as Hostile Exile, Hybrid Maniac, Brutality, and even Techno Legend, the god of superstardom himself. Tonight, that reign gets put on the line against a superstar who many have been waiting to see challenge the Beast Incarnate. He is Mr. Money in the Bank, and he does not need to use that Money in the Bank tonight. The reason? He beat every single superstar in his path. What started as a Hollywood Open challenge evolved into a Hollywood recreation. Ratluck has been reborn as a new superstar here and is set to get his opportunity at the undisputed Superstardom Championship. Coming up next, it is our X3 main event. It is finally here, AJ Styles and Brock Lesnar, but more importantly, Ratluck and NBC Master for the undisputed Superstardom Championship. The match is up. I'm getting chills just from that intro. We mentioned NBC's reign 109 days. And the guys he has beaten has won this championship. Took it from Jetstar. Yes, Hybrid will be watching. So Hybrid, the match is up. But that match started, or higher, or I'm sorry, NBC's reign starting with a Three stages of hell victory in the third stage against Jetstar at SummerSlam for EIF August 13th. Now, November 30th, NBC has not lost the title since. This is the X3 main event, the only superstar to match on the card tonight because it could not be shadowed or in the presence of any other superstar to match. This could be the biggest superstar to match we have seen here in 2016. The winning champion will walk in to Christmas blood to defend that title in an unforgiving elimination chamber. The following contest is the main event of the evening. This match is set for one fall and for the EIF. Undisputed Super Stardom Champion. Introducing first, he is the challenger from Battle Creek, Michigan, representing the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, Mr. Money in the Bank. It took a 30 plus minute. Match of the Year candidate with Deathlock for Ratlock to have this opportunity. It took one-on-ones against the likes of Pepsi, Tripod, Greedy, Headshot, Killa, Master B, and more for Ratlock to be where he is tonight. The rightful number one contender, and all eyes are on him. Ratlock has been talking a big talk for weeks, saying that he is ready, he is better than NBC, even before being declared number one contender. Rowick has believed in himself, and Rowick has said today is the final hour. It is the final time that NBC will walk to the ring with the championship. And now we await for that very man.
And now, introducing the opponent from Burlington, Vermont. He is representing Brock Lesnar, the current reigning and longest defending EIF undisputed Super Stardust Champion. He is NBC Master. NBC getting set. He has been silent throughout the night. The superstar who's usually a fun guy to talk to. Usually watching the event with friends, discussing the matches, predicting them even. Not tonight. NBC, a different mindset, a different animal perhaps for this matchup. He knows this could be the biggest challenge he has faced since arriving here at Extreme International Fight. The question is, is NBC ready for Ratlock? Is NBC ready for this challenge? We will see eliminations for both Hybrid and I. There will be no more distractions following that. This is your X3 main event. We thank all of you for tuning in up to this point. And if you're just now tuning in, we can understand why you're here. We're going to separate them. NBC trying to get in the face of Ratluck here. He's going to go back to the corner. The introductions have already been made. Obviously, we will wait to the officials count of five to dispose of Blake. And now Ratluck coming to the corner of NBC. These two look ready to get it on. Ratluck has not held the Super Stardom Championship. I don't even know if he has held it in 2016. I'm going to say he hasn't. He has an opportunity to change that tonight. All right, guys, it is the main event. Ratluck, the challenger, are you ready? NBC, the champion, are you ready? All right, good luck to both of you guys. The winner walks into Christmas Blood's Elimination Chamber as the champion. Ding, ding, ding! And NBC off the rope, missing. Ratlock misses him. And Suplex City denied by Ratlock. A deep arm drag connecting for the challenger who gets the action started and continues with it. A DDT. Interesting to see the pacing of this match. Keep in mind, if you watched True Punishment on the EIF network, you saw Ratlock and Deathlock. They really took their time with one another. That match ended up being over 30 minutes in length. And it is all Ratlock here early. And he already got NBC out of green, guys. I don't know if anybody saw that. NBC already out of green. NBC, by the way, not discredited a ring escape, just so everybody understands. He did use a reversal to get out of the ring. And Ralek power bombed out. Well, as soon as NBC got himself out of green, looked like Ratluck nearly went the same. NBC coming right out of the starting gate there. Big offense, but now he's doubled up in reversals. Big clothesline misses for NBC. Ralek. Picking Master up, headlock locked in for the challenger. And now Ratluck, gonna put Master in the corner now. Master out of reversals. To the apron, Ratluck has to be careful with what he does. And there's a, there's a new band move there. And now NBC gonna wait. Now remember, he has to the count of 10. Matchup can end by pinfall submission, disqualification, or ring out. The submission, which is one taunt now for NBC. Baseball slide misses for Ratluck. And NBC going to take the upper hand. Ratluck using a mid-move reversal. Interesting choice there as the forearm connects. Another forearm connecting to NBC. All Ratluck in the early going. An arm breaker delivered. Master looking hurt there. NBC's most recent defense came against his own flesh and blood. And Master B defeated his own brother at the stakes of trying to win the championship. Now 
Ralik again just working it up here. Ralik now back to taking his time with NBC. NBC is going to grab the ropes. That's a freebie for Rat, and he knows it. Ralik green barring NBC right now. Who would have thought this? Possibly one of the, possibly one of the only superstars that you could have squared NBC up with, and and maybe said this guy, this guy, he's not he's not the favorite, and this is a guy an NBC master who had been a favorite in so many matches over the last couple of months, and Ralik's already got a finisher. This match could be over. Ralik's got NBC hurt bad. We saw Brock Lesnar lose to Goldberg in just over 80 seconds at Survivor Series. Fantasy Warfare just got real there, and it might be about to here. German suplex, though, connects from NBC Master. Stumble to back. Ralluck used a ring escape, not a reversal. It's important to note there. There is a difference in this league. Phenomenal forearm, maybe. Could be an opportunity to hit the first finisher of the match. NBC having to avoid Ratlock. Big kick to the body. Master, reverse. And Ratluck. Reverse right back, and Ratluck is out of green. So Master at least has that. German suplex, NBC. Not too hurt, though. If you guys take a look at NBC's body, I don't know that a finisher right now is going to do a lot for Ratluck. Obviously, the players of the game might know a little bit more than I would in that regard. Although, yellow arms. And Ratluck's going to continue to work on them. Keep in mind, guys, Ratluck's AJ Styles, I do believe, comes with Move Thief. And so, fittingly, that a move. He doesn't have enough offense to be called for anything. So, Ratluck with one taunt. NBC Master using the ropes. Ratluck picking him up. Headlock. And how fitting would it be, though, if Ralock were to actually do this? Because you have to think back to NBC's reign, all the times the Kimura has been used. And what if that were the move that would end NBC Masters' reign here tonight? Ralock into a cover. That's an illegal cover. Ralock will wisely break the hold. Smart enough to realize. NBC's had a mixed, a mixed crowd of the reactions given to him during his reign. Some guys that are fans of NBC, others who, who are not. Cheap thrills, maybe. NBC with a reversal. NBC now starting to strike away. Will Rat use a mid-move reversal? He did. Into the pinfall, he has to break it up. But this gives Rat luck, that clean opportunity. And NBC with ring escape, taunt. Rat luck thinking baseball slide. Oh, Ratlock has to be careful here. NBC gets right back in. And Ratlock reversed, and it was a finisher. It was a finisher reversal. Big time reversal there for NBC. Ratlock reversing. NBC with that single Inziguri kick reversed. And now NBC's comboing away on Ratlock. Ratlock out of reversals. Back suplex connects for NBC, but look, Master's hurt. Master with another taunt. That's three. Big body shot. The Kimura is locked in. Kimura is locked in on Ratlock. NBC Master has submitted so many people here. He's looking for the comfort behind win on Ratlock. Is NBC going to tap out Rat and retain the championship? Ratlock holding on, and Ratlock got out of it. Ratlock got out of it. How many people can say they've done that? Man. Oh, Ratlock back into red, though. Master, give Master a lot of credit. And I'll tell you what, he's fighting the naysayers away in this match. Give him a lot of credit for being able to battle back in this from being in green. As much as you can say, maybe there's NBC haters, there's Ratluck lovers in here. Uh, there are guys that, that eat up Ratluck, everything he says is gospel. 
And those are people that feed in that. So you've got people in the party right here thinking that mentality. So who knows? NBC with a headlock, taking his time. Is Rala gonna do a mid move? No, not this time. Think about the rivalry with Jet and Greedy that was one of the highlight rivalries here for EIF in 2016. Look at NBC what he's doing right now, guys. He's slowing the pace down. He's going at the pace he'd like. This is helping him gain some reversals back. Ratlock obviously has the, the one-upsmanship in that regard, but NBC's feeling it right now. He's gonna back up a little bit, give Ratlock a little bit of breathing room now. And of course, a little bit of R&R &R for NBC doesn't hurt the champion here in the main event of X3. Ratlock, slow, makes movement. That really happening. And I'll tell you what, like I said, love him or hate him, you should respect NBC in my opinion. As Ratlock with a mid-move reversal. Ratlock with the mid-move reversal. And this is a huge opportunity for Ratlock now. And there's the Kimura. There is the Kimura, on, and it's the rope break. NBC got a hold of the rope. NBC got a hold of the bottom rope. It's a 1-1 finisher count. And again, all the people that are rooting for Ratlock right now, look, you have nothing to blame but Rat right there. That's all on him. That's the game. Ratlock knew it. Ratlock used his ring escape. Ratlock's got to be careful. Avoid a disqualification here. Ratlock with his second ring escape. Like I was saying, you know, you got to respect NBC regardless. In my opinion here, you can't look at this guy and say he's not a good champion. Oh, referee. Oh, wait a minute. Now, NBC does not want to lose the title that way. Comments between Rat and NBC both. Oh, and look at that. Rat, look. He was thinking about using the sledgehammer there, guys. Rat, look. Using a reversal. Inziguri, NBC avoids it. Ratlock again with a reversal. Oh, and look at this, Ratlock. Ratlock climbed the top turnbuckle. NBC threw it. Ratlock down all the steps. Oh, wait a minute. This is not a good position for Ratlock. Out of reversals. NBC is a finisher. Referee is turning the other way. He's going to have to drop it. The Kamora is locked in on Ratlock. 2-1 finisher count in favor of NBC. And now Ratlock, who tried to break the arm of NBC, Master trying to end Rat just as he has to so many other people. Ratlock's arms are in red, and Ratlock's tapping out. NBC retained the championship. NBC just beat Ratlock. NBC Master has just defeated Ratlock. You have got to be kidding me. Well, there's people talking about it. I will say this much. I don't know if he's going to make any movement here, but at this point, Ratlock will be in the Elimination Chamber match, as will NBC. Ratlock certainly earning his stripes in that match, a hell of a performance. And to the astonishment of many people who were on the side of Ratlock, on many people that believe Ratlock was going to win. NBC Master just defeated Ratlock in a one-on-one -on -one match. Unbelievable performance, though, by both guys. And you have to think that Ratlock had NBC here early, folks, because, guys, Ratlock had a green bar while NBC was put into red. All the pieces were falling into the puzzle perfectly. They were fitting perfectly for Ratlock and NBC give him a hell of a lot of credit. Like I said, the people that don't like this guy have to respect this guy for the champion that he is because he battled back in this match and NBC off a second Kimura Ratlock out of reversals. He took advantage. Center of the ring, Ratlock submits and NBC can use that submission again, but he's going to have to use it against four other superstars because NBC master will walk in to the Elimination Chamber at Superstardom at Christmas Blood against Nexus Genesis, Ratlock, Untamed Legend, 
and Master B. It is going to be a star-studded Elimination Chamber match, as will be the Extreme Distortions branded version of that EC match. And you can catch that all at our next pay-per-view. It's the final pay-per-view event of 2016, the ninth annual Christmas Blood then make sure you follow us right back here on twitch we'll have a couple of broadcasts for you between now and then and you can also follow us on twitter using at eif network to get your latest breaking news updates and more including the more information on that card head over to youtube for any action you missed whether it's previous x events or more we have a video library featuring over 100 hours of content and last but not least if you want roll over to our website it's leaguelineup.com slash EIF lives all the links provided for you right here on Twitch. Thank you so much, everybody for tuning in a perfect ending time, by the way, to EIF X three an unforgettable night, setting the future for Christmas blood. The road to the finish of 2016 is here. We'll see you next time. Yeah, great match, guys.